Hey everybody, welcome to this tapping video on the fear of life. So, as I speak, start speaking, I want you to just start tapping through the points. Uh, tapping is really beautiful, it's an autonomic thing, you don't need to be saying anything in particular. Um, you can tap through all the points, you can tap on your favorite point, you can tap on, your, on the finger points, there's a variety of places you can tap, but just tap as I'm, as I'm speaking. Fear of life. The fear of life isn't really the fear of life. Nobody fears life. Everybody wants to live. We want to live a full, complete, wonderful, happy life, right? What we fear is what life might bring us. So we have these very, we have a very, very narrow, constricted view of what life is and what it's supposed to be like and all the wonderful things that are supposed to be there. And then we're like, we clench up when things don't actually go that way. We lose our resilience, we lose our, our resonance with things. So in this tapping, what I want to do is I want to, I want to take us directly into that fear of life and whatever that means to you. So now you can uh, stop the tra tapping and we're going to actually do a, a regular kind of tapping round here. So starting on the karate chop, even though I'm really afraid of life. I'm choosing now to accept that I feel this way. Even though I'm afraid of life, I wish it was different. I wish it would go the way I wanted it to. I totally accept how I'm feeling and I'm open to the possibility that I might someday love and accept myself and actually not be afraid of life. So even though I am afraid of living, I'm afraid of what living might bring and I don't know what it's going to bring and I wish I did. I totally accept what I'm feeling. And I'm open to letting life unfold in the best way possible for all concerned, especially me. All right, tap through the points. I'm afraid of life. I'm afraid of my life. I'm afraid of what might happen. Life is okay. I like being alive. I like feeling things. I like touching things. I like having experiences. So I'm not completely afraid of life. But I'm certainly afraid of what it might bring. I have no idea. I always thought it was going to be really good. Rainbows and dolphins. Roses and unicorns. Not quite. So many things I didn't expect. So many things that threw me off. Made me afraid of life. Made me hold back made me risk averse, not sure about opportunities. I totally accept that I'm feeling this way. I totally understand why I feel this way. It's actually perfectly natural. but it's become a bit of a habit. I find myself recoiling, not willing to put my foot in the water, more intimidated by life than loving it. I really want to love life. 
I want to experience it fully. And I'm afraid of it at the same time. All right, stop and take a deep breath. Just check in with your body right now and see how you're feeling. The reality is, is this isn't really a, a fear of life versus a love of life. It is a conflict between the two. It's our desire to be safe and our desire to be free, which is classic. You know, we want full freedom of self-expression and enjoyment. Ooh, but we want to be safe. We don't want to have too many things go wrong. Uh, we want most things to go right. This is perfectly natural. So what we want to do is we want to kind of we want to kind of bring both sides out into the open. Yeah, I'm afraid of a lot of things, but I'm really wanting a lot of things as well. So let's start tapping again, just starting on the on the points. There's a lot of things I really want from life. A lot of things I want from life. A lot of things I want to enjoy in life. A lot of things I already have. A lot of things I'd like to have. I'm open to the possibility that just maybe I could have all those things that I want and be safe at the same time. What if that were possible? that there was a safe way that I could enjoy life. I'm recoiling from life out of the fear of what might happen. But what if I was capable of dealing with whatever happened? I mean, I've dealt with what's happened so far. I'm still here. I'm not dead. Life is pretty good. Not really where I want it, but not that bad. So I guess I have had some inner resources. I do have some resilience. I'm really open to having, to experiencing life more fully, to not being so afraid of it. I don't really need to have the circumstances perfect, which really means perfectly safe. Nothing will ever go wrong. I've covered every contingency. Right. <laughs> like that's ever going to happen. I'm really open to the possibility that I already have all of the inner resources I need, all of the natural resiliency I need, to not only handle what comes along, but to turn it into a victory. To use whatever comes along to move the needle. I'm allowing safety and freedom to cooperate, to be equal partners. I let go of this inner conflict, which was completely created by me, <laughs> trying to fight for my freedom and put down the safety mechanism. That's not possible. So I'm going to try this differently. I'm going to allow myself to naturally, organically evolve, safely evolve. 
I'm going to be open to new possibilities and to new creative ways of being with and gaining from those possibilities. I'm engaging all of my inner energy, all of my inner resources, and allowing them to move out to bring my life to a higher level where life is no longer my enemy, something to fear or fight. But what it really is, total benevolence of the universe. (sighs) Take a deep breath. Hope you enjoy that. Um, this is the way I do tapping. You can um, check out some of my other tapping videos, tapping classes, tapping trainings and coach trainings that I have. Uh, until next time, dear friends, namaste. Namaste.